Today I'm going to show you how we're going to go from this to this. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vahi Mehta bringing you another video today on how to add sun rays in your photographs. Now, the reason I decided to do a video on this is <laughs> there's no reason, no one needs sun rays in their shots, but I think they look super cool, especially if you're taking your photograph in natural light and your shot looks boring, but you want to add like a nice artistic and dynamic look to it. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel if you learned something here today. And without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. Before we begin, I just want to let you know I moved all of my tools from the left side to the right side just because I prefer it using that way. So I hope that doesn't confuse you. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open a gradient fill. It look like this. Click here. Click black and white. You'll get a nice gradient. Change the gradient type to noise. <coughs> Come to roughness. Change it to 100%. At this point, you'll start seeing static lines. Change your color model to the lab model. And what you want to do is you want to just turn this into black and white. You'll get a pattern that looks like this. Click OK. Click OK here as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my blend mode to screen. And as you can see, all the black parts of the gradient are no more to be seen. Now I want to click here again. Now you want to change the style to angle, which is basically how your sun rays are going to look like. Make sure you drag them. You can only drag them once the gradient fill window is open. So make sure that is there and move that in the direction of the sun. Then before clicking OK, go here again and you will see this option that I did not talk about earlier it's called randomize and this basically changes the pattern of these rays in a more random way now remember the white lines will be the ones we'll be using at sun rays and essentially what you want to do is you want to pick a particular pattern that's not too strong where the white bands are not so close to each other because then your photo will look like a mess at the same time they shouldn't have like crazy gaps in the middle so I'm going to keep randomizing until I get something I like you can see the bands over here once you find a pattern that has like nice gaps in the middle you can click OK and you can still browse around that pattern a bit to get the most perfect image I like this because I have a lot of sun rays that are on the rest of the image and not a lot on her face so I'm gonna click OK just a quick and obvious tip, whenever you're creating sun rays in your photographs, make sure that you replicate the lighting on your subject and that you're not drawing the sun rays on the other side because then it's just going to look unreal and <laughs> weird. Once you have that, what you want to do is you want to change your layer into a smart object. And the reason we are converting this into a smart object is to make it non-destructive when I add a filter so I'm gonna go to blur and Gaussian blur and over here you can obviously take whatever value you want right now I'm gonna go with something let's go for 64 for now now because this is a smart object it's not um, destructively applied to the layer so I can go back and change it so once you have the sun rays what you want to do is you want to add color to it so go and open your hue saturation layer and make sure you create make sure you create a clipping mask and click this colorize option and just move it all the way to a yellow orange color that matches your ambient light that looks good to me bring the lightness a bit down and I'm gonna click OK now as you can see it still looks pretty strong so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the midtones so I'm going to go to curves again make sure you click the clipping mask option and over here you can play around to see what sort of a look you prefer if you want some of the midtones to highlight more you can bring them up as you can see but then again there's no right or wrong way to do this it completely depends on the type of 
look that you are going for. I'm going to stick with that. If you're doing landscapes, you can obviously go a lot more crazier with sun rays. When you're using portraits, you want to be a bit subtle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my gradient fill and I want to mask out some bits on the subject. So I'm going to create a mask and then I'm going to go to my brush and I want to bring the flow down to let's say 11%. Now the reason I'm bringing the flow down is because I want the sun rays to gradually fade out instead of like completely removing it so that the effect looks more realistic. So I'm going to just like slightly paint using the black mask. And as you can see, this gives a more natural look to the whole shot. Now, if you want to sell this effect a bit more, what you can do is you can create a solid color layer. Again, select a yellow and orange look. So this is we are creating the main sun source. I'm going to click OK, click on the mask, click Control I to invert the mask. Now, what you want to do is take your brush, bring the flow back. And you want to just change your blend mode to screen. Make sure you do it to screen because it has like a nice glow to it. And just put one stroke. You can obviously change the intensity and the color. I'm just going to bring this slightly down. And this before, just to sell the effect a bit more. So this is your after and this is your before. You can obviously change the blurriness of your blur. So go to Gaussian Blur and I'm going to bring this all the way down if you want a more prominent look of the rays. Again, this would look nicer in a landscape, but it's completely up to you. Or you can go absolutely bananas with it and make them even more faded out if you want a more natural look. So this is your image before the sun rays and this is after. And that's about it. There was a quick and short tutorial on how to add sun rays in your photograph. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.